Hello everyone, this is Carlos, lead developer of Interactive GeoMaps and in this video I will show you how you can populate your map with data coming from categories, tags or a taxonomy. So you, have, you need the pro version to do this. I will create a new map, I will call it Articles. And I'm gonna save it and first just to show you that um, I already have uh, several posts. Uh, some of them have a category with a country name, Australia, Czech Republic, uh, Ireland, Italy. So uh, this could be either a category, a tag, or maybe an, a custom taxonomy that you have your, on your website. So first, of course, you will need to have some entries with the region names. In, the, in this example, I will use the world map, but it could be a country map and maybe you would be using um, region names in your uh, category. So back to the map. I'm going to continue editing the articles. We're going to come here to regions. Other, da other data sources and select post categories. It could be post tags or custom taxonomy and you would write your custom taxonomy identifier. But for the video, I'm gonna just simply use categories. Let's see what it does. Okay, it's already recognizing, you know, some of the ones I mentioned. I'm going to update. And I'm going to create a new page here. Articles map. Articles map. And I'm going to add the articles map. I'm going to publish. Okay, so now it still doesn't do much. It just shows the countries that uh, we have articles on doesn't do much so what we can do is down here on the tooltip template saying we're going to use placeholders oops sorry and we're going to show the name and then the amount of articles and so we're going to write the post underscore count placeholder articles and what this is going to do it's going to show in the tooltip ah, notice that the empty ones are showing to correct this we go tooltip options and enable the only active option and now only when we over active entries it will show. Okay, so now it's a little bit better. And the next thing you can do is in the regions to set the click action to open your URL, either in the same tab or a new tab. An update I'm going to preview the map and now what, what it does is when you click one of the countries it's gonna um, send you to the page with the archive of the archive page of that um, category of that term and uh, that's mostly it um, here in this example for this video since I'm using a, a template a theme that supports full site editor I was able to strip down the archive page to only include you know the title, the list of entries. So what I what I can do is instead of open URL, I can open URL in a light box iframe option. Update. This won't work in all themes. Uh, just for the purpose of this video, I want to show you that you can do this but it's a bit outside the scope of the, the plugin so now when we click 
it's going to open a light box with the list of articles inside so i thought maybe this could be helpful to include in the video hope the video was helpful if you have any questions uh, reach out through the contact form cheers